Good to have with us Sam Waters, who you hear every weekday afternoon here on 90.1 FM and also up in Greenville, Alabama on AM 1380 and, by the way, on WTJT.org as well with Help Radio Ministry. Brother Sam, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Robert. How are you, buddy? I am doing good as well. I mentioned to you before we went on the air, I guess, so to speak, that the purpose of this, I really want people to know who Sam Waters is because sometimes you listen to a program over and over and over and you, you enjoy the ministry, but maybe you don't know much about the minister. So in this particular case, we're going to introduce the folks to Sam Waters. Tell us about you because I, I know I've caught bits and pieces in your program. You've got a military history. Uh, how did you get from where you began to where you are today? Well, where I began was the nursery in the hospital. So that, I think my mother probably carried me. No, I'm being silly. I'm sorry. I thought, no, I just started out. I, was, I went to college uh, right out of high school, and I wasn't a very good student. So uh, I decided rather than get drafted into the Army, uh, that I would go ahead and drop out of school and enlist in the Air Force. So I ended up with a 20-year career at the Air Force. And uh, that's kind of how it got, got me started. And it was in the middle of being in that career that one, one evening I heard God speak to me and call me into the ministry. So that's how I started uh, my ministry process. You know. Okay. What part of the country are you from okay. originally? Are you a Florida product originally? Uh, no, I was born and raised in Louisville, Kentucky. So you were born near, uh, um, oh, what's that? The University of Louisville, and there's the horse races, too, that happen there in Louisville, do they not? Yeah, Churchill Downs. It's Churchill Kentucky. Downs, yeah. Um, you joined the military. Do you finish your military career at Agman? Is that how you got to this part of the country? Yes, exactly. I moved here from Germany. And so I just retired here at Eglin Air Force Base and I met my wife here as well. All right. When did the retirement take place? How long ago? I retired in the uh, January, February rather of 1992. So, so it's, it's been back a few years. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of years ago. Um, you mentioned that you took the path of ministry um, not necessarily early. It was something that came to you when you were in the Air Force. How did that happen? How did you feel the leading that you needed to be a man? Yeah. Well, this is one of those only God kind of things, you know, and most people, when you get right down to it, that are really feel called to serve God, they have an only God story. And with me, I was in a station in Anchorage, Alaska, uh, at that Almondor Air Force Base, I was sitting, I can see it right now, I was sitting in the kitchen, finishing the book, The Late Great Planet Earth. I grew up Southern Baptist. We never talked about it, not that there was a problem. It just Nobody ever taught about the second coming. And so when I'm finishing this book, I'm saying to myself out loud, God, there, there are millions of people dying and going to hell. Someone has to tell them. And I heard in this right ear of mine, I heard God say, you do it. And the reason I know it was audible, because the moment he spoke, my head turned instinctively to the direction of the sound that it came from. That's how I know it was audible. Ever since then, God, of course, speaks through us, too. And I knew then. I knew I needed to get out of the military. I needed to, to go to a school, went to a boys' Bible school in Louisville. And uh, after that, I graduated and uh, began ministering. And, and I went back in the Air Force, of course. But uh, that's how that all started. I felt God calling me. So you were in the military. You leave the military to pursue the ministry and then get back into the military. Are you in the military in that second tenure as a minister? Uh, no, not as a position that I worked in. I ministered downtown, like by vocational, and I always did music ministry. I never really filled the pulpit at, at that time, but uh, I had been a music major in college and had really when I was in high school thought I would be a minister of music when I got older but that didn't work out but uh, I was um, well, I was coming up on uh, you know when I was getting out that first time I just I heard I, Scott what do you want me to do and I heard military 
And I thought, well, I told God, we can't do that, God. There, you know, you're going to have two masters. And the Bible says you'll love one, hate the other. And it was like God said, do what I told you to do. So I got out of the military. Then uh, when I went to Bible school, uh, and I got out of Bible school, nothing was really open. No position, not even in music. And so after about a year of this, I asked God, I said, God, where do you, where do you want me to be? And that's why I, when I heard him say, go back in the military. So I did that. And later on, after I'd been in, in for a while, that starting with you, as a matter of fact, I was, uh, I'd retired when I started with this radio ministry. And uh, I was, uh, I wanted to teach, you know, teach scriptures. And the, the church I was in didn't have any classes open. So I'm just talking to God like I usually do, you know, Lord, I, I just really want to teach. And I heard him say radio. And I had tried years ago in 1981 or something over in Mississippi. It hadn't worked out too good. People were supported, you know. So I told him, I said, well, God, I tried that before. It didn't work out. And of course, God being God said, I said radio. So, <laughs> you know, I said, okay. And, I, and you know, we'll give it, give it two or three months. If it doesn't work out, you know, well, no, so far I'm done. Well. I was figuring it out uh, in November, it'll be 15 years I've been on your station. So it made it past the three months, Mark. A little bit. Uh, Help oh, okay. Ministries is the name of the radio program. Why did you select the name Help? I had a neighbor that had a hit background in radio work. So it was like when, from day one, it was like uh, he was really helping me, showing me how to do the lead in music and the, and the exit music, you know probably has more technical term, but that's what it was. Anyway, and that, um, what'd you ask me again? <laughs> <laughs> How you got the name help? <laughs> oh, help. Okay. Yeah. That's, I got it by answering the question. Help, you know, but, uh, no, I, I, I wanted it to be, I was passionate about teaching people about spiritual warfare, about the need that you can fight back. You don't have to be a victim. Satan does not have a right to do things unless we relinquish it. And in the authority of the name of Jesus, we can do this, you know. And uh, so I got to thinking, now, what do I want the name to do? And I thought, well, I had gone through all of this difficulty in my life. And no one taught me. I learned the hardware. So I wanted to he I wanted to help hurting people, to heal people. So help is healing each lonely person. That's how the ministry got its name and uh, kind of stuck. Well, see, I've already learned. I never knew that help was acronyms for helping each lonely person. So I've, I've learned something. If no one else has, I've learned something. <laughs> your ministry, I, I do hear you frequently mention on your radio program about a desire to expand. Um, where would you like to take help ministries? Uh, I have learned with God to not have an agenda as far as uh, I'll go step one, step two. Uh, and I'm not trying to sound super spiritual or anything. I just really believe what God has done with me. I was talking to my wife about it a while ago. Is that if there's something he's wanted me to do, he's, he's either told me to do it or shown me what he wants me to do. Jesus said, I don't do anything on my own. I do what I see the Father do. And I say what I hear the Father day, and I, have, I want that verse to identify me. So it's always been, just like he spoke to me about the radio, he spoke to me about going back in the military, that God, whatever direction he wants to go. And sometimes people contact me, you know. So it's just whatever the door opens up. People that want to contact you, how do they get in touch with Sam Waters? Well, um, you can call me on my cell. With eight five zero six eight two, I'm not stunned. Wait a minute, six. What is my phone number, dear? <laughs> <laughs> I a mind say, is a terrible thing to waste. Should I look at my phone and find it? Six one two. It's eight five zero six one two three three seven nine. That's my phone. So I have a mailing address if you want that as well. Definitely. What is that? Definitely. Okay. It's, of course, it's at Help Radio, P.O. Box 965, Crestview, Florida, 32536. 
Sam Waters, first of all, I want to say thank you very much for being a part of 90.1 FM for 15 plus years. I appreciate your diligence, your commitment, and your quality. And I'm going to say that maybe to some quality isn't an important ingredient. I think it is very important because when you put quality with a message, it makes the message more appealing, which to me means it reaches more. So I want to say thank you very much for the quality of your program as well. And thank you for being willing to chat with us on Facebook so that our audience can put a face with a voice of Sam Waters. No, thank you, Robert. I appreciate you inviting me. Thank you.